ever been part of a team or a group who helps to pick up litter along a roadway or in a park? Well, three years ago, we took our furry friend, Rupert, out of the pages and illustrations of the Rupert's Tales books, and we became an official Adopt a Road crew. What that means is that four times each year, friends of Rupert who live close to us gather together to clean up a section of the roadway. The name of that road where we clean up is called Rowan Road. Imagine that of all the streets and roads in our county, we got assigned the road called Rowan Road. And that's really magical. It's named after the Rowan tree, which has been considered magical for thousands of years by many different cultures throughout the world. So we were very, very happy when this was the name of the street our friends of Rupert team, our friends of Rupert team was able to be assigned. So why do you think we do this anyway? Why do we get together and clean up the roadway? Do you know that some people throw garbage out of their windows of their cars? The next time you're riding in the car, look out the window and see what's there. Do you think you'll see garbage laying along the, the roadways? Well, what happens to that garbage if we don't pick it up? Do you have any idea? The Friends of Rupert Adopt a Road crew had our most recent cleanup last month in April. I asked some of the people who come to help us why they help, and here's what they had to say. Why do you help? Uh, the Friends of Rupert cleanup crew. It's a chance to give back to the community, for, to get involvement, to do a, do a little bit uh, for the society as a well. whole. Thank you. I help because it's the right thing to do. You know, I like to help my community, I like to help Earth, I like to care for our planet. Thank you. Because I don't just want to talk about making the world a better place, I want to do it. Because I like it. It's fun to walk up and down the roads and find weird and unusual things that people have thrown away on the side of the road. I do it because it's the right thing to do. It's something that makes me feel good. It's something that's good for other people. It makes me feel good. Four times a year to get out, help Mother Nature, God, God to try to keep our earth clean. Because it is a great way to give back to the community. Um, it's something we can do as a family to get back to the earth clean it up a little, do our part for the stuff that we put into the earth that shouldn't. It's sad to see what all the people are doing, and so it's better to help the community. Because that, take a picture of that, is not the legacy for my kids. That's not the legacy I want for my children, is what the last man in these video clips said. Do you know what that means? Well, I'll tell you. It means that he wants a better world for his kids and grandkids and whoever else may be born in the future. So he's helping to make this a better place right now. Do you know there are two cleanup events each year that take place all over the United States? Those two events are called the Great American Cleanup and the Coastal Cleanup. The Great American Cleanup is the largest annual community improvement program in the whole country and over four million volunteers. You can get more information on how you can help at www.kab.org or you can do a search for Keep America Beautiful. That's what the KAB stands for, Keep America Beautiful. Or you can even just search for Great American Cleanup. It's a day of action all over the United States and takes place up in April of each year. In our county here in Florida, it's always the third Saturday of April each year. But in some states and counties, this event takes place on other days. The International Coastal Cleanup event takes place in September each year and is the largest volunteer effort to clean up waterways and the oceans in the world. You can find more information about this event, even if you don't live near an ocean, at www.oceanconservancy.org. And you can look that up um, on our credits at the end of our show. I will post it there for you to see. It's an amazing event with millions of volunteers from all over the world. Waterways are not just the ocean. It is, water is something that we all need in order to live. And if we don't keep our waters uh, pollution free and poison free, then we will have nothing to drink. 
you should be you should also be able to contact the government recycling agency in your own county to find out about cleanup events where you may live. It isn't just Rupert who needs your help. Not just our furry friend and not in the books, but our real forest friends. Not they just aren't the only ones that need your help. I do too. Earth is probably the only planet I will ever live on, and we need to work together, you and I, in order to uh, have lifelong habits that make this the best planet that we can. And even if you can't help on an Adopt the Road crew, or at the Great American Cleanup, or even the Coastal Cleanup, you can make sure you keep your own house, your own yard, or your own parking lot cleaned up. And you can ask your friends to do the same things. That way you will be an environmental superhero. It's easy to get frustrated or even mad when you see how much litter and trash people are throwing out when they should be helping to keep our planet clean. It's their planet too, right? But complaining about it won't make the garbage go away. Having your own good habits and cleaning up what you can does make a difference. Sometimes, though, people think that what little bit they can do won't make any difference at all, so they do nothing. Well, if everybody did nothing, then we would soon find ourselves with a very, very unhealthy planet. So your bit that you can do, whether it's this much or this much, or even this much, makes a difference. I clean up because I want a healthy planet and because I want to set a good example for others. Why do you help?